problem is the country of Mexico has leaders that are far smarter than our leaders, far more cunning than our leaders. Their negotiators are much better than our negotiators. And they're sending people into our country that we don't want, but we take, and that they don't want. And you know who they're sending. Donald Trump calling out Mexican officials and their American counterparts on illegal immigration. And while Trump continues to fight backlash from his comments, it seems that a lot of American people are standing with him. According to a new Monmouth national poll, Trump is surging with Tea Party voters. For more, let's bring in political commentator and author of The Greatest Comeback, how Richard Nixon rose from defeat to create the new majority. Pat Buchanan, welcome to Newsmax Prime. Good to talk to you. Yeah, really happy to have you here. Uh, Donald Trump, many people thought, or the media thought, or the media is trying to make it so, that he would stumble and fail, and he's a racist, and he's ethnocentric. It turns out, Pat, he is reaping the benefits of his words. Well, yes. You know, ten years ago, I wrote a book called The State of Emergency, The Third World Invasion and Conquest of America. And Donald Trump is talking to that issue, and since the government of the United States has done nothing for ten years, People are listening. They're tired of other folks' words. And whatever you say about Donald Trump, he appears to be a man of action who gets done what he says he's going to do. You know, it's interesting, Pat, because in his initial announcement, and he was dead on right, except he missed one word. He didn't say the word illegal. If he added the word illegal to the, in the, to the initial announcement, I don't think we're talking about this. I don't think La Raza or Maldef or Lulac are talking about this. Because he left that word out, he really is the big winner because of it, isn't he? Well, I think, he, I think he really is, and there's no question about it. Look, I mean, he's also dealt with his trade issue. He's dealt with NAFTA. There's no doubt we were out negotiated on NAFTA by the Canadians and by the Mexicans. They immediately ran up huge trade surpluses. There's no doubt Mexico uses the United States as a safety valve to get rid of the problems in its own country so they won't explode there, and they let folks come into our country, and they're not too, I mean, they're not too uh, persnickety about who they let, uh, let go. Right. So I think uh, Trump, is re he's really got an issue, and the American people know it. They're upset about what's going on on the border, and he's the one guy that's raising Cain about it. Happy to have Pat Buchanan via the phone line. You know, Pat, uh, in, in thinking about Donald Trump and what he said, almost every single Republican who has announced, even some who haven't announced yet, has been asked about it. Only Ted Cruz, the senator from Texas, has said, look, what Trump said was true. I would have said it differently, but what he said was true. Everybody else is running away from him. The American people want to talk about this issue. Are they making a mistake by not talking about it more? I think the, uh, there's no question about it. Listen, many of the Republicans are politically correct. They want to get rightly positioned, which is, I'm against illegal immigration. We yeah. want a border fence. We want no, uh, no path to citizenship, but we want legalization. They're all taking this line that they've been given by the folks that do their polling to make sure they don't antagonize this group or that group. And what Trump is saying is basic common sense. We've got people walking into our country. We don't know who they are. Some of them are criminals. Some of them commit horrible deeds. And they're walking in here from a neighboring country that's not doing its job and helping us stop it. And I want it stopped. And people understand that. Wait, a couple of things Trump said. Number one, he's going to build a wall and he's going to make Mexico pay for it. The second thing he said was, I'm going to win the Latino vote. Does he have any chance of doing either one of those things? I don't think he's <laughs> winning the Latino vote. Look, uh, even the best, uh, Ronald Reagan, I think, got 44%, and uh, George W. Bush, who did very well, right. got about 40%, and Mitt Romney got 27 Look, and, and, but the problem is this with regard to Latino vote. Many of these folks that have come here in recent years, legal and illegal, frankly, and their children, they tend to be poor, they tend to have uh, lower incomes, and they're much more dependent upon government programs, and they believe in government. And they have no history or tradition, really, of going back to a small government traditions in the early part of, of the United States. And so they trend that way, and they vote that way. And so I think it would be unrealistic to think he'd get a majority of the vote. Well, let me, let me just take it a step further, though. I mean, most Hispanics are Catholic or Christian, at least. Most have traditional family values. Most are anti-abortion. Most, I don't believe, want larger government. I think they want lower taxes, like anybody who's out there working. Why aren't they more conservative-leaning? Aren't, uh, aren't they socially? Well, socially, but, you know, there's no doubt that the, they were deeply Catholic, and many of them, uh, I think a tremendous percentage, 55%, I believe, voted for Proposition 8 or whatever it was in California, I think, that denied benefits to illegal aliens. And, uh, or right was, excuse me, I think it was pro-life, it was the other issue. Right. 
uh, where the uh, where the African Americans. Well, I'm sorry, it was gay marriage where the African Americans voted seventy percent. Right. So you're correct. But what is you have to ask a question not where they stand on those issues, but what is the one issue on which they vote? And when I was out campaigning in yeah. California, a place like that, they would come up to me, and I was working out one time, and a fellow came up to me, and he says, "You know, how do you stand on education?" I said, "Well, by and large, that's a local state responsibility. I'm run. How do you, are you going to put more money in our schools? I want more money in the schools for our kids." And so they care about things like that, and they believe right. government should be doing them. And so a traditional conservative's got a tough sell there. I appreciate the time, Pat. Thank you so much for joining us here on Prime. As Donald Trump continues to rise in the polls, he's left with many asking if he can win the nomination. Let us know what you think. There it is on the screen. Newsmax Prime, coming right back. Stay right here.